everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Denise Keller. I am the Adults Programming Administrator for the Warsaw Community Public Library. In June, on June 14th, is Flag Day, and we are currently under the COVID-19 isolation, and so programming has become a little challenging. So I am doing a virtual program today to teach you how to create your own paper flag in a frame. So the supplies that you will need for our project today is going to be some cardstock in red, white, and blue. You're also going to need some sticky dots, which I was able to find at our local dollar store. You're going to need either a pencil, a toothpick, some sort of tool that has some sh sharp end on it so you can twirl your paper. The easiest way to do this is with a Cricut. If you have a Cricut, that's the best way. The library does have a Cricut. However, because of the quarantine right now, we are not able to use that. But if you do have a Cricut or someone that you know can cut these out for you, it works fabulous. Otherwise, you're going to have to hand cut each one of these in the same size and shape so that you can create your paper flag. And then on top of your supplies, you will need a five by seven picture frame. I was again able to find this at our local dollar store. And you're going to take out the glass, so you will not need the glass. So if you have a five by seven laying around that does not have a glass in it, you're more than welcome to use that. Or you can actually design your own frame. You just need the cardstock for the back to put your paper flowers on inside the frame. So after you have your pieces cut out, then you are going to need to twirl them around your tool, your pencil or your toothpick or whatever type tool you have. I found this little tool and it's very helpful. You're going to start at the end of the pattern and you're going to want to roll this around the tip of your tool and you're going to do it very tightly. You're going to think, wow, I am really crushing my paper and it's not going to turn out to be anything. However, when you do this, it will bounce back and it will form the shape of your flower. So you're just going to do this through the entire pattern of the flower. And if it slips off like mine just did, you'll just go back and make sure that you tighten it back up. You're going to continue to go around and around until you get to the end. After you've reached a certain point, you really don't need the tool anymore. You're just going to kind of spin it. You do want to make sure that your bottom is lining up and it's one solid line. So you're kind of wanting to spin this. And once you get to the very end, then you have this little round dot you're going to want to form that right in the center and kind of push these all up and once you lay it down you will see that it keeps the form and it forms your flower so after you have twirled all of your flowers you need nine red nine white and six blue and six white stars you're going to take one of the those little polka dot adhesives and you're going to stick it to the back of that little dot that I was showing you earlier. You're going to stick it on there and take the adhesive piece off and you're going to stick that on a piece of white cart stock within your frame. Then you're just going to continue to make your design of your flag and till you have all of the pieces together to create your flag. Thank you for joining us today and I hope that you have enjoyed my video. I hope that you have fun making your flag and celebrating Flag Day on June 14th. Thank you again.